Okay YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you not the way, but a way to get enough torque on a bolt to get it, you know, off or to torque it on. So basically what I have here is a, a rake that has been hacksawed off at the end, as you can see, and the uh, ratchet just perfectly slides in right there, so that's going to allow me to get enough uh, leverage on it torque it nice and tight. But to give you guys an example, I'm going to be taking this wheel off. These uh, bolts are torqued to like 100 pounds. So the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, jack it up. Okay, so I didn't jack it up all the way, just took a little bit of the weight off. And now I'm going to uh, to undo these bolts. The reason you don't want to jack it all the way up is because then the, the wheel will spin or whatever and it'll be uh, it'll be tough to get enough torque on the, the bolts. So leave some of the weight on to start. And then once you uh, get them loose, you get it up in the air. Okay, so here's the situation. I have the right size uh, ratchet right here. I'm going to put it on the lug. Obviously this isn't enough to get the torque on it to get the bolt off. So what I'm gonna have to do is slide it in here, like that, and then I'm gonna be able to go from all the way at the top of the rig to get it off. All right. Shit. Well, that didn't work. Uh, hold on. Okay, I got some other stuff set up over here. This is a, uh, a shower curtain rod. It's maybe a little bit thicker metal, I don't know, we'll give it a shot. It's nice because you can adjust it to whatever length you want. Maybe worth looking into getting. Nice. See, that one's working. Just unbolt them one at a time. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that didn't work either. I actually needed this thing. Well, what's next? 